whatsoever. All one needs to remember is that it has to be soft gooey within with a firm exterior crunch on the outside. Brownies as a dessert is so forgiving that it allows you to play around and stretch its possibilities to create new and varied versions of this great creation. In today's cooking, I'm going to be creating a walnut and cranberry brownie merging together with chocolate and baking to perfection. Let's get to creating this now. Brownies happen a la minute instant because you just need to remember the principles that everything is in equal quantities. So to start off, I've got about 500 grams of dark chocolate. Use the best quality possible. To that, I'm adding 500 grams of salted butter. I've just cut them into cubes. They go into the bowl, no drama, no fanfare. This goes into the microwave for three minutes to melt and get to the gooeyest of consistencies. With that melting, slowly and coming together, merging itself really well, here I've got into a bowl eight whole eggs and they go straight into my planetary mixer. You can go right ahead and start whisking it, but it's brownies, so go as liberal as you want. To that, I'm adding 500 grams of the finest of sugars, caster sugar, going into the bowl, and we're just going to allow both this to blend and merge beautifully. So with these two in, we're just going to get the paddle on and let it move. Into the egg and castor sugar mixture goes a cap full of vanilla essence. Allow it to just scent the entire thing. With the chocolate and the butter emulsion nicely melting, they're just going to ensure both blend together really well. So in goes my silicone spatula and I'm just going to merge the two together, allow it to cool a bit before we get it moving into the egg mixture. Allow the chocolate and butter mixture to come to near room temperature because you don't want the eggs to actually cook while they whisk. So divide this into two batches right into this mixer and allow it to blitz away. In goes the remaining warm fuzziness that the chocolate brings to this entire thing. Blitz this for another minute till everything comes together and then comes the fun part of adding the walnuts, the cranberry and the flour. Such an easy batch to create in perfect unison. In goes 300 grams of finely chopped walnuts and this just gives brownies that appeal that's so required and about 100 grams of dehydrated cranberries just to give it that tart element that's essential in a brownie actually. So you blitz away again for a minute. And finally we fold in the flour. Now gets to adding the flour. So here I've got 300 grams of refined flour and we just put that in two batches so that it blends beautifully along with the entire emulsion inside. Lazy me is going right in, in smaller quantities so that it blends. Like I said earlier, brownies are extremely forgiving in their making time. With the final batch in, we're just going to allow this to blend for about a minute and pour it straight into a pan. Just folding in any flour that's left on the side. I've got a pan out here that's 14 inches by 11, which I've greased and just lined it with a baking paper because that actually allows the brownie to slide off easily. So we go right ahead and pour this entire batch right over here. 
Don't be alarmed by the size of the batch because out here brownies are loved by everybody and they always get great gifts in actually sending it out to friends and family. You can go right ahead and create half a batch of the same. This goes bang into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius if it's a dry heat and if it's a fan mode go right ahead and keep it at 160 for just about 35 minutes till it's dry on the outside but warm and fuzzy within. The best way to know when your brownie is done is when you can see the exterior edges nicely baked but the center has that warm gooeyness. It's extremely essential to remove it out just at that time because it continues cooking as it cools down and comes to room temperature. This brownie, all you need to do is allow it to cool down, cut it into beautiful dices and arrange and use as and when required. They stay well in an airtight container in your refrigerator right up to three weeks. Perfect for the midnight indulgence. With this ready and done, it's time to have a sneak peek into this gorgeous goodness. A quick tip here is the best way to know that your brownie is just about done is when you see slight cracks on top, remove it out, allow it to cool and allow it to cook from within. I hope you enjoyed creating my version of a cranberry walnut and chocolate gooey brownie, warm indulgences that is going to ride us for the next three weeks, midnight indulge or anyone at any time. I hope you enjoyed creating this gorgeous dessert with me. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. And as I always say, don't forget to subscribe.